Hello everyone, welcome back to Babli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create Go High Level sub accounts. So I run a digital marketing agency and here in this case I want whenever my client sign up through the form which I have created using Go High Level, then automatically using that detail, a new sub account should be created for that client so that my client can get a dedicated space to work. So here to build this connection, I need to connect these applications using an automation software name as Pabli Connect. So here to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to automatically create Go High Level sub accounts. So as I've already mentioned in my introduction that I run a digital marketing agency and I use Go High Level to manage multiple client accounts. So whenever a new client signs up through our online form which I've created using Go High Level, then I need to set up a sub account for them in my Go High Level account to handle their specific campaigns and data. So by automating this process, I can automatically create a new Go High Level sub account whenever a client submits the form. For example, if a user fills out a sign up form to start a new marketing campaign, a sub account is automatically created for him in Go High Level. This automation saves me time, reduces manual work and ensures that each client gets their own dedicated space without any delays. It helps me manage client accounts more efficiently and provide better service. So here to build this connection, I am going to use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software and it connects all your favorite apps and makes them work together seamlessly. You can set it up to do things automatically like updating customer info across platforms or sending notifications when something important happens. It's really easy to use and saves you tons of time that you can spend on more important stuff. Plus it keeps everything organized and error free so you can focus on growing your business hustle free. So this is the homepage of Pabli Connect and you can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user so I'm clicking on sign in. Now after signing in here you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I am going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and here to build my connection, I need to create a workflow first. So for that, I am going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, I have to give a name to my workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as automatically create go high level sub accounts. And here I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, if you want to learn how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect, then you can click on this learn more link given over here. And by clicking on this, it will take you to our forum window where you can see all the instructions to how to create a new folder in Pabli Connect. So moving back to my Pabli's dashboard and here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button given over here. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow with the name automatically create go high level sub accounts. And here on my screen, you can see the two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as go high level. But here in Pabli Connect, instead of searching for go high level, we have to search for lead connector v2. So here I'm going to connect this lead connector v2 with Pabli Connect in order to connect my go high level account with Pabli Connect. So Go High Level is an all-in-one platform that helps businesses manage their customers and grow sales. It combines tools like CRM, marketing automation, sales funnels and appointment scheduling in one place. People love it because it simplifies their workflow and saves time, making it easier to focus on growing their business. So here in my Lead Connector V2 Trigger step, I'm going to select my Trigger Event as Form Submitted. 
so that whenever a new form is submitted in my GoHigh Level account, automatically public connect should receive a response over here. And here you can see I have received a webhook URL. That means here I'm going to use this webhook URL to connect my GoHigh Level account with public connect. So here following the instructions given below, firstly here I'm going to copy this webhook URL and here I've already logged in my GoHigh Level account and from here I've selected my account which is named as Public Connect and here under my account I'm going to select the option for automation over here and here under automation you can see a workflow list. So here to set up my webhook I need to create a workflow first. So for that I'm going to click on this create workflow button given on the top right corner. Here I'm going to select start from scratch and here under this builder section I'm going to build a workflow. So for that I'm going to click on this add a new trigger given over here and from here I'm going to search for my trigger that is form submitted. So whenever a form is going to submit then automatically this workflow is going to be triggered. So I have selected the workflow trigger and here it is asking me for workflow trigger name. So I want the same trigger name that is form submitted. So now I'm going to click on the save trigger and here you can see we have successfully added a trigger and here you can see we have received another option for add a new trigger. So if you want to add a new trigger then you can do it as per your need but here I'm going to add a single trigger that is form submitted and now I'm going to add an action over here by clicking on this add button given over here and then here it is asking me to select the action. So here for my action I'm, I'm going to search for webhook. So here you can see we have received the option for webhook over here. So here I'm going to select it. And here in this webhook dialog box, here it is asking me to give the action name. So I want the action name as webhook only. And here for the method, I'm going to select post. And then here it is asking me for a URL. That means here I need to enter the webhook URL which I have received in my Pabli's workflow. So I'm going to enter the webhook URL. So this is my webhook URL and then here you can see we have received the option for custom data over here. So if you want to add any custom data then you can do it as per your need. But here I'm going to ignore this field because I don't want to enter any custom data. So now here after adding all the required data I'm going to click on the save action given over here. And then I'm going to click on the save given over here. And after saving my workflow I'm going to publish this workflow by turning on this button. Then I'm going to click on the save again. And we have successfully published our workflow. So moving back to my workflows. So with this we have successfully set up our webhook by simply setting up a workflow. So now let's go back to our Pabli's window. And here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission we need to generate a test response in our form. So for that let me take you back to my form. So this is the form which I've created using GoHigh level and here I'm going to enter dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the sub account name I'm going to enter my account name as test triple zero and here for the first name I'm going to enter the name as test triple zero last name as lead a random phone number and a random email such as test triple zero at the rate pablitudes.com and then I'm going to click on this condition and now I'm going to click on this button. And here you can see it says thank you for taking the time to complete this form. That means we have successfully submitted a form over here. So now let's go and check our Pabli's window. And here you can see we have successfully received a response over here where we have received the workflow name, workflow ID, scrolling little town, phone number, location name, scrolling little town. Also we have received the last name, full name, first name, email address, scrolling little town. And also we have received a sub account name and some other details. So with this we have successfully set up our trigger step. Now let's move to action step. And here I'm going to select my action application again as lead connector v2. Because now here I want to create a new sub account for my customer. So here in my lead connector v2 action step I'm going to select my action event as create a location that is sub account. And now here to connect my lead connector v2 with public connect here I'm going to click on this connect. Here to build a new connection we are going to select add new connection. If your lead connector v2 account is already connected with public connect then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection I'm going to click on this connect with lead connector v2. 
so here it is asking me to select the account so here i'm going to select my agency account because here in this step i'm going to create a new sub accounts so here make sure that you connect your agency account because then only we will be able to create a new sub accounts in our agency account so now i'm going to tick on this allow access to all sub account for public connect and then enable automatic future installation and now i'm going to click on this proceed an authorization successful so here you can see it easily got connected because here i was already logged in, in my go high level account so to build an easy connection make sure you are already logged in, in your go high level account so moving back to my pabli's window and now here after building a successful connection moving forward and then here it is asking me to give the sub account or location name so here instead of entering this detail manually here i'm going to map the data mapping data means insert data from previous step that means here i'm going to map the data from the response i've received in my trigger step mapping makes the text dynamic so that whenever a new form is going to be submitted in my go high level account then automatically this previously existing detail will be updated with the new one so here i'm going to map the sub account name for that i'm going to search for the name so this is my sub account name moving forward here i'm going to map the phone number so here i'm going to search for the phone number so now here this company id address city and some other fields are not a required field so here i'm going to leave them blank but if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need and now here i'm going to map the first name for that i'm going to search for the name again so this is the first name here i'm going to map the last name so here i'm going to search for the name again so this is the last name scrolling a little down here i'm going to map the email so this is the email again these fields are not a required field so here i'm going to leave them blank but if you want to add any other detail then you can do it as per your need and now here it is asking me is allowed duplicate contact so for that i'm going to select false is allowed duplicate opportunity false is allow facebook name merge false and lastly it is asking me is disable contact time zone so for that i'm going to select false again and now here after successfully entering all the required data i'm going to click on the save and send test request given over here and here you can see we have received a successful response that means we have successfully created a new sub account in our go high level account so now let's go and check it here i'm going to refresh it and here i'm going to search for the sub account that was named as test 00 and here you can see we have successfully created a new sub account with the name test 00 so with this we have successfully set up our automation now let's test our automation with a real time example to check whether it is working or not so to test our automation we are going to submit another new form response and for that let me take you back to my form here i'm going to refresh it And here I'm going to enter another dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the sub account name, I'm going to enter the sub account name as current triple five, first name as current triple five, last name as lead, a random phone number, an email as current triple five at the rate publicutes dot com. And then I'm going to tick on this, and then I'm going to click on this button. And here you can see it says thank you for taking the time to complete this form. That means we have successfully submitted a form over here. So now let's go and check our Go High Level account to see whether we have created a new sub account or not. So again here I'm going to refresh this window, and then here I'm going to search for my sub account that was named as Current Triple Five. And here you can see we have successfully created a new sub account with the name Current Triple Five. So with this we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken a trigger as lead connector v2 and an action as lead connector v2 again so that whenever a new form is submitted in our go high level account automatically using that detail a new sub account should be created in our go high level account. Now if you want to use the same workflow then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaripabli dot com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum dot pabli dot com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www dot pabli dot com. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.